174 days until the midterm elections. Right now, a race that is crucial in the battle for the Senate majority remains undecided. In Pennsylvania's Republican Senate primary, TV doctor Mehmet Oz holds a slight edge over former hedge fund executive Dave McCormick. But it is possible that can now go to a recount. Dr. Oz has the former president's endorsement, and today Trump took to his own social media site to say this, quote, Dr. Oz should just declare victory. It makes it much harder for them to cheat with the ballots that they just happen to find, in quotations. So let's fact check that. This is just an effort by Trump to discredit this race, something we have all seen him do before. Please know there is no evidence or allegations of cheating in this election. And fact check. Fox host and Trump ally Sean Hannity was also vocal in his support for Oz. Hannity spent a whole lot of airtime going after another Republican candidate in Pennsylvania's primary, Kathy Barnett. She is currently in third place. Well, Barnett and Dr. Oz both had messages for Hannity as well. I want to thank Sean Hannity. Yeah. Yeah. Sean's like a brother to me. When Sean punches through something, he really punches through it. Uh, he understands exactly how to make a difference, and he's been doing that this entire campaign. Much of it behind the scenes, giving me advice on late-night conversations. Never forget what Sean Hannity did in this race. Almost single-handedly, Sean Hannity sowed deep seas of disinformation, flat-out lies every night for the past five days. And that was just extremely hard to overcome. Behind the scenes and on national television every night for a week, Trump's backing may have helped, though, Doug Mastriano win the Republican na nomination for Pennsylvania governor. Remember, Mastriano was at the Capitol on January 6th, but more importantly, has continued to push claims of a 2020 stolen election, which we all know is not true. He'll now face off against current Pennsylvania AG Josh Shapiro in November. And what's President Biden up to? Well, he is dealing with a real problem affecting real Americans right now. Today, he announced he would invoke the Defense Production Act to boost production of baby formula. The Defense Production Act gives the government the ability to require suppliers to direct needed resources to infant formula manufacturers before any other customer who may have ordered that good. And tonight, the House passed a pair of bills meant to combat the shortage. Those bills now head to the Senate.